And hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel where we talk about anything related to comic books, like new releases, famous stories, or movies based on comic books. In today's video, we're gonna dive deeper into the world of Marvel Comics and talk about Toxin, the son of Carnage. So, with no further ado, let's start. As I always do with this type of videos, first I'm just going to talk about his first appearance and his creators. So if you're not interested in that, you're free to skip to the next chapter. So this is a bit complicated. Carnage gave birth to Toxin in Venom vs Carnage number no. 1, but Toxin as a symbiote made his full appearance in Venom vs Carnage number no. 2, created by Peter Milligan and Clayton Crane. In that issue, Toxin's host is Patrick Mulligan. However, the symbiote later bonded to Eddie Brock in Venom Vol. 2 No. 17 by Rick Remender, Colin Bunn and Kev Walker. Eddie remained the host of Toxin for a while until the symbiote died, or at least that's what Eddie thought. The symbiote was still alive and bonded with Bren Waters in King in Black Planet of the Symbiotes No. 3 by Steve Orlando, Gerardo Sandoval and Victor Nava. Bren Waters is now Toxin's current host. So, who is Toxin? Well, long story short, Carnage was pregnant. Yep, that's right. Symbiotes reproduce asexually, and that's what happened in Carnage's case. When Venom learned that Carnage was about to have a child, he wanted to help the infant symbiote, because as the 1000th symbiote in their lineage, Toxin would be extremely powerful, so it would have to be trained. However, Carnage wanted to kill it. When Carnage gave birth to Toxin, he was weakened and left the symbiote to police officer Pat Mulligan so that he could kill it later after regaining his powers. When Carnage attacked Mulligan to kill Toxin, the symbiote covered his body to protect him. Pat Mulligan with the Toxin symbiote managed to defeat Carnage, proving that he would grow up to become a powerful symbiote. Toxin's abilities are similar to Venom's, like super strength, stamina, agility, and speed, but to a much greater extent. But apart from his standard symbiote abilities, he can also detect a person or find out information about them by just holding or smelling something related to them. After defeating Carnage, Toxin decided not to kill him. Seeing his sense of morality, Venom and Carnage realized that the symbiote bonded to a policeman would grow up to be like Spider-Man. To stop that from happening, Venom formed an alliance with Carnage in order to kill the newborn symbiote. With the aid of Spider-Man and Black Cat, Toxin defeated his father and the grandfather, but because of his fear he couldn't control the symbiote, Pat left his wife and newborn son without any explanation. As Toxin was a very young symbiote, he didn't know how to act like one, so Pat tried to teach him to be better than the others and to become a hero. Toxin successfully defeated King Cobra and then went after Razor Fist. However, Razor Fist kidnapped Paul Meadows, a friend of Pat who knew his address, and forced him to reveal it. When Razor Fist went to Pat's apartment, Pat wasn't there, but his father was. Razor Fist killed Pat's father, and the next time Pat confronted him as Toxin, he wanted to kill Razor Fist, but his will was strong enough to stop Toxin from doing it. After successfully controlling Toxin, Pat decided to explain to his wife why he was gone. Unfortunately, shortly after, Pat was murdered by Blackheart, who took the Toxin symbiote and forced Eddie Brock, who wasn't Venom at the time, to bond with it. Eddie couldn't control Toxin who forced him to attack Flash Thompson, aka Agent Venom, along with the Savage Six. Flash tried to kill Toxin by setting him on fire, but Toxin survived, and some time after, he went after Flash again, but this time, Eddie was in control. Eddie wanted to ensure that Flash wouldn't lose control over the Venom symbiote by, well, killing him. However, Eddie realized that Flash was doing good as Venom but said that if he ever lost control, he would kill him. After Flash left Philadelphia, Toxin took his place, but he was arrested by the FBI. However, instead of killing him, they offered him a position to the anti-symbiote task force. Agent Toxin, along with John Jameson and Manuela Calderon, went after Carnage, who was empowered by the Darkhold. 
In order to stop Carnage, who wanted to unleash the evil god Chthon with his new powers, Eddie gave the Toxin symbiote to Jubilee Van Scotter, one of his allies, who combined it with her own symbiote and the Ray's symbiote. The combined force of the three symbiotes, two of which had been empowered by the Darkhold, defeated Carnage and Chthon. The three symbiotes were presumed to be dead, but Toxin had survived. At some point, the symbiote bonded with a teenager, Bren Waters, who is his current host. After a failed attempt of Carnage to control the symbiote, Toxin teamed up with Agent Antivenom and Silence in order to stop Carnage, who managed to control all the Life Foundation symbiotes, except of Scream, who had now become Silence. Unfortunately, Carnage escaped, but Toxin, Agent Antivenom, and Silence decided to stick together in case he ever returned. Recently, Toxin teamed up with Dylan Brock, the new Venom, to save some people in a hostage situation. I can't wait to see more appearances of Toxin in the future. I mentioned quite a few stories in this video, so you might want to check out some of them. Venom vs Carnage, the birth of Toxin. Toxin, the devil you know. Toxin's first solo adventure. Venom, the Savage Six. Flash vs. the Savage Six and the new Toxin. Venom, Toxin with a Vengeance. Toxin goes after Flash Thompson. Carnage, the 2016 run. Volumes 1, 2, and 3. Toxin in the Anti Symbiote Task Force. Extreme Carnage. Carnage tries to control all symbiotes, but Toxin is there to stop him. Well guys, this was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, you can support me by subscribing, clicking the like button, and allowing all notifications. And if you thought that this was a bit confusing, then welcome to the world of Marvel Comics. You really don't know how many symbiote stuff have happened all these years. Tell me what other videos you'd like to see, and until the next time, goodbye true believers!